Okay, we're going to make a fruit pizza now, and we're going to start by making the crust. And we're using sprouted buckwheat. We've just taken the buckwheat, the raw buckwheat. Make sure you don't get the cassia, the roasted buckwheat. And we've soaked it for six hours, and now we and then we sprouted it for 24. And we're going to just be putting this into our food processor now to make the crust. You just want to get a little bit of a tail on that buckwheat. So 24 hours is a good amount of time. Don't let it over sprout because it can change the flavor. Okay, and to this now we're going to add a third of a cup of olive oil. And again, we're using organic cold pressed olive oil. And a third of a cup of maple syrup. And we're going to be doing this crust in the dehydrator to preserve the nutrients. And we're dehydrating at a 105 degrees. So you want a dehydrator that has a thermostat control on it so that you can adjust the temperature accordingly. Okay, and now we've got a cup and a half of raisins. And we're using organic raisins here. The reason we use organic, we try to get organic raisins or organic grapes, if we're buying grapes just simply because they're heavily, heavily sprayed. So it's better if you can get organic. Okay, so we're just going to let this process now. Okay, that's made a nice dough. Okay, and we're going to put that on our dehydrator tray. And again, we're using parchment paper. It just helps with the cleanup so that it's not getting down into that screen and hard to clean. Okay. And we want to make this crust about a quarter of an inch thick at the most. So just make sure you spread that out so that it's not going to be too thick. It won't dehydrate well otherwise. And you can make them square, round, whatever you like, whatever fits your plates. Okay. And we're going to put that in the dehydrator now. That's going to dehydrate for about 18 hours at 105 degrees. And halfway through the dehydrating time, we'll actually flip that over so that it, and take this parchment paper off so that the other side can, can uh, get the air to it. It'll dehydrate better. Okay, we'll be back and show you how to load the fruit pizza. Okay, we're going to carry on with our fruit pizza. It's finished in the dehydrator. This is what it looks like after about 18 hours in the dehydrator. It's a nice soft uh, crust. And we're going to make now a kind of a, a sweet and sour cheese to go on the base of this. And we're gonna do that with two cups of cashews. We're gonna put this in the blender. and six tablespoons of lemon juice. You couldn't put a little bit more if you're, if you like the little tart flavor a little more. And a third of a cup of honey. We're just going to blend this up until it's smooth and creamy, and this is going to be the base on our crust. OK, 
Okay, that looks pretty good. So we're gonna put that cheese onto our fruit pizza crust here. Spread that around on there, and then we're going to load this pizza up with some beautiful fruit. And buckwheat is a, a warming food, so it's a great food for having in winter or cool weather. It's nice for warming the body. You can see that this is very, very thick, and it makes a nice consistency to go on this pizza. Okay, we're going to start by putting some sliced bananas on the base. You can layer these in whatever order you like, but I've, I've sliced them fairly thin. You don't want them too, too thick. Okay, now we're going to put some fresh pineapple that we've chopped up. And we're just going to sprinkle this on. So you're going to load this just like you would with a veggie pizza, only you're going to put all these wonderful fruits on here. And this is delicious for breakfast. Sometimes we'll have this just as our breakfast meal. Okay. We're going to put some fresh kiwis on there. All right, and some fresh strawberries. Aren't the colors beautiful? It's just gorgeous. Okay, and now we have some fresh blueberries. We're going to put these on top. And trust me, if you haven't had a fruit pizza like this, you've not really had pizza because this is delicious. Okay, and on top we're just going to put a sprinkle of coconut. And this is organic shredded coconut. And there we have a delicious fruit pizza that you can enjoy for your breakfast. Enjoy.